Next part is language evaluator. And today our language evaluator is Circle. Oh, he's the most lovely child I have ever seen. If he win the lottery, he will ask his mother, Mom, how much do you want? And I believe no matter what the number is, Circle will give them all to his mother. How lovely born. Let's welcome Circle. I'm your language evaluator of the night. I consider it as a payback for my last table topic. <laughs> and she got a pick that time Charlotte BTMD and made me a language evaluator. How horrible it would be. <laughs> you can find any single error. <laughs> but if I lose, <laughs> last time I can. I have two pages. <laughs> okay, I will start with some suggestion of problem. First, there is a slightly different picture. I will do something. And I'm going to do When you say, I will do something, it's more likely that you made a decision at the spot. And on the other hand, when you say, I'm going to do something, that means that you are planning to do this before you say so. Like, uh, if you say, I will go to Japan next week, it's a bit weird because it's a big deal. You should plan for it for a very long time. Not likely a decision you made at that spot. Yeah. And uh, next is it is very mini. It's not correct. It's like a sense. I think you say it's. That means uh, I don't know how to explain this in English. And uh, someone says for fifteen years old. But about 15 years old, like uh, maybe 14, maybe 15, maybe 16, around that. But also you can say just like uh, Nancy said, in age of 15, When the topic, it's a, there is a question that if you want to be the only kid, I think when you reply that question, you try to figure the sentence. I, I think what you want to figure is you won't treasure the love if you are the only kid, if I got you right. <laughs> right? What you, want to, what you want to say is you won't treasure the love if you are the only kid. Yeah? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> then, pronunciation. When you say words, words, make sure you pronounce the, the D. Yeah, or it will sound like words. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. And when you want to say must. No. Make sure you say must or you will sound like most. 
Uh, make sure you don't say most. It's must. Okay. And uh, oh, some great work. Hipster. Wenqing. I think it maybe came from hippie. <laughs> But, but when I search in other dictionary, it means Cao. <laughs> yeah. So I don't really get it. Yeah, I, I, I saw an article use this word and it translated to Wen mm -hmm. And uh, here is a description for you think someone is sweet, you can say cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> and the word devote. Devote means you spend a lot of time or effort with somebody. You even sacrifice yourself in something. That means devote. Uh, de -vote. I almost say divorce. Yeah. <laughs> he could leave from divorce. <laughs> and uh, here is uh, oh, oh, I almost ran out of so I gotta say this first. Ben Dong. <laughs> it's not a thing. I hope it is, but it is not. Ben Ben. Bandong <laughs> box, it means lunch box. Lunch box, yeah. Yeah, yeah but bandong is not a sin. Bandong is Japanese. And vocal variety. It means that lots of different song or voice. And because I'm run out of time, so I stop here. Thank you. Uh, G.